align and distribution in InDesign. So in this video, we'll show you how to work precisely and align elements in InDesign on your pages. First thing I will do, click Window, Object and Layout, and find the Align Panel. That's the Align Panel. You can click and drag and place it here. Now we have different options here. Align Objects, Distribute, and Align To. So if I'll click and select a shape, Always check which alignment you are, like align to selection, margins, page or spread. If I'll click page, that will be centered to the page, right, you can see it's in the page edges, left, top, center, and bottom. But if you select margin, it will recognize just the margin. So you can align it right away to the margins at the top, left, center will be anyway centered. And you can align it to the whole spread, which means the two pages. If I click center, we'll center it to the spread. Two other options that we have, align to selection and align to key object. I will copy the shape. You can hold the Alt or Option key. When you have two shapes, select them both and align to selection. That will center them. Now I'll click align to page and center both of them to the page. And we have also align to key object. So let's say we have the first rectangle centered already and we want to align these two to the rectangle. Then click align to key object. Make sure your key object is selected with the blue frame and you can align them. They will move to the key object. More options that we have, distribute objects, so you can distribute vertical centers. It will recognize the distribution from the center of the shape. Click Control Z, but you can also distribute spacing, so you can use spacing and be more precise. Let's say we want six millimeter space, distribute vertical. We have six millimeter space between them. So that's the alignment, very useful when you uh, align images, shapes, make sure everything is precisely on your document. 